Hey ho friends, guess what time it is? Full moon, ba -ba -da -boom. full moon time. You guys, oh, I am so excited for this one. And I, do I say that every time? I, I hope I don't. I mean, there's just some sets that I'm so excited for. Um, and this is one of them. Okay, so I've got Pyrite's Life. Think of this as my night sky, please. <laughs> I'm going to burn myself on that dang melter. Okay, let's see. Pinky pointer. Ringy fingy. Middle. And I wonder, well, we'll see. I might be able to use... Um, one thumb. Actually, I know if I go this way, I can to use one thumb. Um, okay, so here is what I have done. I've got my Orly Bonder base coat on. And I am definitely in the season that I'm kind of swapping around between peel-off base and Orly Bonder. Um, shoot, let me make sure that. And that's okay, but I will, I'll let you guys know when I do the videos, which ones, which one I have going on, even though I guess probably doesn't really matter to you, does it? <laughs> you probably don't care either way. <laughs> um, and then I'm using one of these gold, like super gold Sally Hansen strips, I think. Too small hang on let me try it in here no that'll work a little baby gold pinky of that because I wanted this gold to be like BAM I'm super gold welcome welcome to my super gold self so if you don't know um Fa the owner creator of Color Street um, before he started Color Street, he worked with Sally Hansen, and so not all Sally Hansen of these old ones, but these ones are, and you can tell, I mean, things look the same, right? Like, it looks like this, only different colored, um, peel-off strip type of situation, and the nails are the same sizes, and let me tell you. Let me just look real quick. They're called... Oops. Uh, I think they're called Salon FX. Yes. Okay. Sally Hansen Salon FX Real Nail Polish Strips. So if it doesn't say that, if it doesn't have that, um, then it's not the right ones. And I do notice sometimes that if I search that, uh, I will get the wrong, like people have labeled them wrong. Like they'll label them like Insta gel strip sometimes. And that's just them having labeled them wrong. So read the packaging. There's tons of great strips. Now keep in mind, you're getting a strip. I mean, these were from 2011. So that's 11 years old, but for the most part, you guys haven't had any problems. I have not. Sometimes they'll take a little of your patience <laughs> to be able to use them, <laughs> but you know, they're usually worth it. Um, what else? Okay. So he did Sally Hansen. He did a line at Walmart. Um, the regular in cocoa ones and then also a line that had six strips in it called coconut nails and if you looked at the sub boxes coming up 
I was glad to see they didn't let the coconut nails strip machine go to waste because those six strip sets are the coconut strip size and so that's what they're using for that for their uh, what's the word template um, and they are totally different sizes you guys than what you're used to so honestly you're just gonna have to try them to see like because their thumb is a teeny hair smaller than the biggest thumb but also a bit bigger than the little thumb so it's like you're really gonna have to just try them out and see you know if you like them or if they work for you if you have to um kind of rigmarole them around a bit to get work to work best for you you know that kind of situation um and then they also of course do their in cocoa which they used to sell um some in walmart some in oh uh, what's that called ulta uh they also sold them on their own website and so they no longer do in cocoa in the u.s but they still do it in Japan and Korea and they have east recently recently <laughs> added um Germany and oh gosh a whole bunch of places like they're you know working on getting in cocoa everywhere so um and then he also worked with uh, Avon. And there's a few different kinds of Avon strips. Uh, and again, you want the like real nail polish. Um, what, do you, what would you call it? Like Insta Dry situation. And again, you want them to look like what color street looks like so if somebody's trying to sell you the Avon ones you know that look like an off-brand strip meaning like they're not all connected on their eight finger strip and they don't have the little you know plastic seal tabs you gotta mess with then you're not getting the right product and Avon did do their own like nail art strips but they were um, after they had worked with Fa and they were also you know like the plastic off brand kind with gems and such on them and those are not gonna be like if you think they're gonna be like slash act like you know color street and cocoa they're not going to because they're not what they're not the ones that he made with them I don't know there's some groups on Facebook that I'm in and there's a gal who's always trying to sell and she's always like if you didn't know Fa helped Avon well he did and he didn't help Avon he did it just like he does with everything else he makes the strips he does not um, you know, give off, give out his secrets. It's like, like the Sally Hansen, like he's making the strips and putting them in their packaging, if that makes any sense. And even like if you order, um, I should have cut that one flat because this one's pretty square these days. If you order in Cocoa Strips, from you know Japan or Korea or wherever uh, they're gonna say on them you know made in the USA they're made at this the exact same plant this whole same situation they are color street you know what I mean or actually you know what's probably more accurate is color street is in cocoa that's probably more accurate let me show you these Avon ones I picked up 
instant manicure, dry nail enamel strips, uh, Avon color, and but when you pull them out, because you're thinking that doesn't look like how he does them, but when you pull them out here, maybe, then you can see. So these are, these are very old, um, but I grabbed them on eBay because I wanted to give them a quick try, you guys. I like to know, you know, I like to try it. I just like to try it, but be on guard, I say, you know, even though it says, even though somebody says, Fa help to make these, if they don't look, you know, like a color street strip they're not <laughs> because when fa makes the stuff it's always the same situation it's always the same little peel off pulley tab basically the same shape of nail and i will say that over time you know he has kind of adjusted the um shapes and sizes a teeny bit but not, not massive, so. Yeah, there's your little PSA for the day about picking up old in cocoa sets. But I have a link down below to Anna's and Coco Group. Um, and she sells off-brand nails also, Shibella Nails. Or Shivella? I guess I don't know. I never know, but I think it's Shivella. Anyway, um, she sells those also, but she does do in Coco Japan and in Coco Korea orders for you from everything they have on their websites. And they just, uh, their fall stuff was the in Coco Japan fall sets were stunning. So you can order, you know, literally hundreds of different sets from her that are in Coco Japan and Coco Korea and in Coco Japan has colored overlays that we don't have yet and just loads of really good stuff. Uh, she charges $14 a set, so just straight across the board and $4 shipping. Unless you do a really ginormous order, then I know she'll bump the shipping a little, but, you know, for the most part, your $4 shipping is good. And the Korea sets are 15 instead of 14 because they cost a little more to get shipped to her. But they're fast, like you do your pre-order with her and from when she closes it to when you get this stuff is like definitely not more than two weeks. They come really fast. The Korea ones take a little longer, but they have some colors that I can't help but get. The foundation set this month, you guys, shut right up with that yellow glitter. That's the first time we've ever had a yellow glitter like that Color Street has in their Color Street history. Isn't that mind blowing? It is for me. Not only is it a yellow glitter, it's actually like a real, real good yellow. <laughs> a real, real good yellow. when I was watching their little video, it's almost like they were laying down some Lima lemons as their base and then they put the gold glitter over the top. And I know that, um, what was that set called? Oh, Lemon Beat Drop. That one um, is like a yellow shimmer, but also just a super sunshiny yellow. This one that we're getting, oh, it's good. It's good. It's good, it's good. That pyrite stuck a little teeny bit to the side, but it's okay. I won't yell at him. This 
this little baby nail started to grow out. Tonight I did a huge amount of um, trimming and filing. Cuticle work. I mean, they're looking like stinking amazing right now, you guys. And soon that will, well, that looks great right now, but it's not that long. Eek, it's a trick. Soon it'll catch up. It'll look really good. I mean, my goal always is, like, that when we get to Halloween time, I've got some really long nails because I love to do fun art on them. So, I mean, it should. It should be fine. This guy will it'll get caught up and I'll even him up with that guy and it'll be good. It'll be golden. I wonder, instead of messing with those perforations, I'm just going to straighten that part out real quick because that's what I do anyway. So this set that I'm doing tonight, you guys, Marsh sent it to me because she's always looking at nails on Pinterest and stuff and um, she knows that I am always looking for like celestial, full moony, you know what I mean? That kind of stuff that I love because I try to do a full moon set every month because it lets me just feel a teeny bit witchy, okay? And I need that in my life. I need to be able to feel a teeny bit witchy every month. Let me get that pressed out real quick. Okay. You get in there. Alright. They're not too far off, you guys. Okay, now, I took out my um, little star punch. It is the, I think it's the quarter inch, pretty sure. Um, and the reason I want this one is because I need one that's going to fit my finger. And I'm putting a, star, a gold star on both of my pointers. I know you guys don't know what I'm doing yet, do ya? But you're gonna love it, I think. Then you can thank Marcy, because she sent it to me ages ago. So there's one. I only need two. If you were wondering. Okay. I'm leaving that out, though, just in case I, like, screw something up and need it again. This gold is so pretty, you guys. Okay. Put him on there. And then... Yeah, it came off beautifully. Is that hand always just got to be such a trickster. Okay, there we go. All right, so we don't need the rest of that teeny bit. Let's move that. Now, <coughs> and I'm not, I'm not 180% here how I'm going to do this part. Let me unplug my warmy mat and get something out here to set these on. So I've got the Olive in June Super Shiny Top Coat. And I've got the China Glaze um, Fairy Light. Fairy Dust, sorry. Fairy Dust, not Fairy Light. 
This has, look at that, it's a glue booger from Dang Nails. Okay, and then I have a couple Q-tips. So, now if you're saying, Stacy, I don't have China Glaze, it's okay. You don't have to have China Glaze. You could do this with any sparkle, including Northern Lights. But if you use Northern Lights, you're going to have to add a couple coats, kind of like to build it up, right? But China Glaze, on the flip side, this is the thickest, <laughs> I mean the, like, the thickest, densest um, glitter slash hollow I've ever seen. So I knew it would work really good. Like, really good. I'm cleaning off my brush because I'm actually setting my brush to the side. Okay. And then... I'm making a, basically, a shooting star, you guys. A shooting star trail. How about that? Oh, yeah. Okay. I might not be able to use the Q-tip, though. Well, maybe. I'm just gonna have to build it up a little bit and the reason I went with the pyrite one you guys is because I wanted it you know to look like a night sky this actually I think the q-tip is working quite well because it's almost like it's holding the glitter like building up the glitter without building up a bunch of its base. Oh yeah, see that? Okay. All right, I'm gonna give that one a sec to sit up a little bit. And then I'm going over to this hand. All right. This one, I'm going to try to keep my trajectory <laughs> better. <laughs> the last one, my trajectory, trajectory, my aim was a little messy. And that's okay. So you'll definitely have to... Have a little patience with this. Now, of course, you guys could totally cut out, you know, some kind of very, I would say, very sheer-ish glitter strip. And that would totally work. I just wanted to use a liquid here. And I don't use this fairy lights very often, you guys, because it is such a heavy, heavy glitter. Hopefully I'm on camera, am I? Yeah, I saw my finger wiggling. I can't actually see this quite well. Alright, hang on. took out plenty of q-tips but I didn't take out enough like in my reach and I do not think that I could keep this like in as targeted areas without using the q-tip which is why <laughs> which is why we're using the q-tip because I just don't I don't think using the brush I could keep it neat enough you guys know I paint the whole side of my finger every time and that's just with top coat. Oh, this is good. I'm going to have to take the picture in the sunshine for it to really show its true colors. Yeah, 
you guys it's really good and I will put fairy lights on my thumbs so you guys can see it like as a whole but it is very very heavy shout out um who told me about this one I think it was Lynn Deloid who is the top coat queen queen of top coats you guys So basically the Q-tip is sucking up the, the liquid and just leaving behind a lot of glitter, which is exactly, <gasps> this one's so good. It's not very often that my right hand beats my left hand, but today, right hand, you had success. High five. Okay, now let's dip this in here and do our thumbs just so you guys can see them. Because it is really very pretty. It's just also really very, very heavily. Heavily glittered. And most of the time, I wouldn't want that heavy. Like, I don't want to change my sets usually that much. My glasses are falling on my nose right now. I could be painting anything. Okay, let's put this away. Thank you, fairy lights. You did your job. And that is China Glaze. This is a heavy, heavy suspension base, meaning you never have to shake this. In the almost two years I've had it, I've never shake it, shaken it once. It just stays suspended. Like in the Top Coats Marcy made, same. We got a really heavy suspension. So that you never have to shake them. She mixes them up in little containers and pours them in. And that's that. Same thing. Okay, now, hang on. I can't use my fingers. I don't want to mess anything up. Alright, now. This olive and June. Ugh, like that. To get that off. Because then, it's very easy to hold this brush. But when you have that little, that round lid on, it's so cute, but it's harder to, harder to hold the brush. Oh, it's so shiny. Pretty. Oh, I can't wait to take pictures of this in the sun, you guys. It's going to be really good. It's leaving a sparkly trail. Stardust. This might not be like what people think of when they're thinking full moon, but it's okay. I just when I when I do my full moon nannies, I just want a reason to go starry for you guys because I love it. Can you see it? It's really pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I wish I would have did my trajectory better on that one than I than what I did. It's too late now. It's okay. I'm going to take my nail feet of my right hand. Because listen, let's be real. My right hand does all the work on these manis. It always makes the left hand super shine. And the right hand never gets a day in the sun. Girl, today is, well, no, not today, but tomorrow is your day. You're going in the sun. You're going to show people who you are. I bumped it a little. There. Okay. Oh, it's, it's real good, you guys. Yeah, it's real good. So, hopefully you guys like getting a little celestial business every month. And every, like, you know, summer equinox, fall equinox, winter, this, that. 40 other excuses for Stacy to use a star set, star and moon set. Okay, now, 
put that baby back on. And I'm gonna see if you guys can see. Yeah, look how good that trajectory is on that hand. Ooh, dog. Now I just have to clean the edges a little, not even too bad. And the thumbs, whew, whew, we're so sparkly. You wish you may, you wish you might on my shooting star you're seeing tonight. <gasps> Love it. Thank you, Marcy Moo Moo. This is beautiful and perfect. I adore it. All right, gals. See you next time.